Well, for more on this, we're joined by Mushad Zaidi, political analyst and the CEO of Alif Aylan. That's a political campaign addressing Pakistan's education system. Is joining us live from Islamabad. Very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera. So, as we've just mentioned, Aidi will be given the first state funeral in nearly three decades. Is that a sign of just how important a figure he was in Pakistan? Uh, Liz, uh, you know, today is a day on which Pakistan has been orphaned. Uh, this country was founded in 1947. Uh, and it's always been insecure and it's always dealt with a whole range of challenges, among them chiefly uh, the state of its people, the amount of poverty in this country and uh, the deprivation of the poor. And the fact that the state has never quite been able to, because the state has been too busy, uh, one, sort of working for the elite, and two, trying to fend off uh, its perception of security and insecurity in the region. And so the state's never been able to take care of those people in this country that need the most care. And as the sixth or seventh largest country in the world, that's not a small number of people. Mm -hmm. uh, Abdul Sattar Idi transformed the way that we see ourselves. Uh, he transformed the way that we see our responsibility to our fellow citizens. He transformed the way in which we expect things not only from our state but from each other and, and from society at large. Uh, his passing is uh, an irreparable loss uh, to this country. Uh, but luckily, the, the body of work that he's left behind, the legacy that he's left behind, is not just the organization that he, he set up and the work that he did. The hundreds and thousands of volunteers, the billions of rupees, dollars, billions of dollars annually that, uh, that, that go through his system, but also the fact that he became an inspiration for so many other mm -hmm. philanthropists. I don't know any philanthropist, I don't know any NGO or civil society activist in this country that wasn't at some level touched by or inspired by Abdul Sattar Idi. Yeah, his legacy, there aren't enough words to describe the impact of his legacy. An absolutely extraordinary figure, no doubt. What was it that you know motivated him to fill that gap left by authorities in Pakistan in providing welfare and providing social services that his foundation did? I think, you know, the, the, most, uh, the most profound way to understand this, and this is just for me personally, and I, I, again, because it's such a personal experience, today's, today's funeral and, and, and the sense of loss, each Pakistani will have their own take on, on what it was that made it so special. I, I think for me it was the fact that he would go and touch people and touch issues and engage with things that that nobody else would, that there was either too much shame or dishonor or uh, too much filth associated with maybe uh, unclaimed children, uh, children born out of wedlock, uh, dead bodies, lepers, uh, you know, people wouldn't touch the dead bodies of lepers. Idi made it okay and, and he, you know, washing the bodies of those, bo uh, those poor souls that, that weren't going to be claimed. Uh, many of us have the privilege of, of being claimed both while we're alive and, and while we're dead. But Abdul Sattar Idi claimed those that nobody would claim. So that, that claiming of those folks is really something that, again, the state was never able to do and really no other person or organization uh, encapsulates or crystallizes that mm -hmm. spirit better than Abdul Sattar Idi. Political analyst uh, Mushad Zaidi joining us from Islamabad there. It's been great to get uh, your insights. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.